Hi there, homespun friends. It is Sherry and it is great to see you today. I am so glad that we are now starting a brand new week. Last week was a challenging one for me and sometimes we have those. It wasn't necessarily a bad week, just had some difficult times in it. And I'm so glad it's through. And as I was thinking that this morning and giving praise to God for having that week through, I thought about the word through. A few weeks ago, that was my prayer word of the day. And my mind took me back to that day when I wrote this devotion that I'm going to share with you. Um, there are many ways to look at the word through. We can say, oh, I'm so glad that's through, that's done, it's over. Perhaps it's a long project we've been working on or a frustrating one. When we come to the end of it, we're just so glad to have it behind us. We're through. The word through can also be something that we're experiencing currently. Maybe we're not done yet. We're still going through it. It might be an illness that we're having to live with or a relationship problem that we're enduring. We're going through it and we're not to the end yet where there's a perfect resolution. Those are hard too. But for me, when I thought about the word through that day, I wanted to turn to scripture because this was a word that I was supposed to be praying all day. And I was like, Lord, please help me to find the correct verse that you want me to see today for the word through. I soon found that there are over 100 verses that use the word through in them. And the one that God took me to was in John. It was in John 10, 9. And it says, yes, I am the gate. Those who come in through me will be saved. They will come and go freely and will find good pastures. I love that verse. And so I asked the Lord, Lord, what is it that you want me to see about this verse? Well, Jesus was speaking in that day frequently to people about things that they could easily understand. He used examples and illustrations of things that were very familiar to them. It would be as if Jesus came today, he might use the example of a fast food drive through line. You know, most of us have been in a fast food drive through line. And if he was to use that as an illustration to talk to us about a spiritual truth, we would understand it much more easily because we can identify with that. Well, the people in Jesus' day were extremely familiar with sheep. They were everywhere. And shepherds and gatekeepers were common jobs. When Jesus talked to them about being the gate, it was a concept that they understood. So let's think about a few things that we can take from this one simple verse of scripture. First of all, the sheep pen only had one small narrow opening. When a sheep pen was built to contain the sheep, it usually was built with rocks and stones from the area, and they would take them and build all four sides. Usually it was in some type of a rectangular shape, it could be more like a square shape, but they would make this large pen and build it up on all the sides with these rocks so that it was very secure. And the opening, there was only one, into that sheep pen was narrow. It was just big enough for the gatekeeper to pass through and maybe a sheep or two to go through that little opening at a time. What can we take away from what we know about this? Jesus was saying, I am the gate. Jesus is the living gate and he is the only way through which you and I can enter heaven and have eternal life. The world today tells us that there are many ways, many ways to get to heaven. Um, that is not true. There is one way, and it is Jesus. Jesus told us himself, I am the gate. And it's only through coming through Jesus that we can be sure of eternal life. The next thing we might notice about this verse is that this pen was extremely secure because it was built up with these rocks and it only had one tiny opening in it once the sheep were inside, they were guaranteed safety. The gatekeeper would watch over them and he would take notice of anything that they needed. 
but predators could not break through that wall or get inside. No one could come in and steal the sheep from the gatekeeper because he was there watching them. At nighttime, when the sun went down, he would actually lay his body down in that narrow opening. Many times the opening was not even wide enough for him to stretch out his full body. So he would prop his back up against the stone wall on one side of the opening and his knees or his feet would go up on the other side and his body would fully enclose that small opening. And he might even take his staff and he would lay it up on his shoulder and prop it up against the other side of that opening as an added security. Anything that wanted to get to the sheep, such as a thief or a wolf, it would have to cross the shepherd's body. It would have to go across the gatekeeper. And when it tried to pass, that gatekeeper would protect those sheep with his very life. And friends, that is what Jesus does for you and me. He is a protection and a hedge of protection around us. He is the living gate in that opening. I know in the world today, we have so many fears that just come on us. Everything I've watched talks about um, you know, impending dark days and how difficult it's going to be and it's going to get more and more uh, challenging for us. And I know that can cause many of us anxiety. But my focus for today is thinking about the gatekeeper protecting me from all harm. He is in charge. He has us securely sheltered and we really have no reason to fear. He is going to make a way. And that brings me to the last point that I saw in this short verse that we read. And that is we noticed that the gatekeeper said, these sheep that I have, they can come and go freely as I let them out and they are going to find good pasture land. The gatekeeper knew exactly what the sheep needed. When they needed rest, he knew it. When they needed more exercise, he knew it. When they needed to get out into the green pastures and have good things to eat and maybe fresh water to drink, he knew it and he oversaw it all. He made sure that these sheep were provided for. Friends, that is the way Jesus is for you and me. He knows what you need. You don't have to be afraid or worried I know that fears are everywhere, but God will provide. He has given us this living gate to make a way for us. He is going to let us have some freedom to go out and get what we need in terms of provision for ourselves, to have a safe place to rest, a cool place to drink water. And then he is going to bring us back into that little pen so that we can sleep and be safe all through the day and the night. Friends, this is a wonderful example in this verse that Jesus was using to show us these several things. One, that there is only one way to come into eternal life, and that is through him, Jesus, our gate. Two, that he has us safe in his care. He is watching over us at all times. And three, that as our gatekeeper, he knows what we need, and he is going to always provide for that need. He will make a way for us to have all that we need if we put ourselves in his care. On that day that I wrote this devotion and my thoughts about this scripture verse, I prayed a prayer of thanksgiving. I thank God for providing Jesus as a living sacrifice for me. I thank Jesus for dying on the cross and shedding his blood so that I could have eternal life. I thank Jesus for keeping me safe, for securing my eternal salvation, and also making sure that on this earth, I'm safe. And then lastly, I gave praise to Jesus for always providing everything that I need. Sometimes the provision of what I need might come right before I need it, just right before I need it, right at that moment. Other times, Jesus has made a way years in advance because he knew one day I was gonna need this thing and he has made a way far in advance for me to have it. How wonderful he is, that whether it's right when we need it or far in advance of when we need it, he is our provider and we can give praise to him for that. 
Friends, whatever you have gone through last week, I hope that you are just through it and you're able to start this week knowing that Jesus is your living gate and he is here for you. He is keeping you secure and he is providing for you every step of the way. It has been wonderful to spend a little time with you today sharing my devotion from a few weeks ago. And like always, I look forward to seeing you in a future video. I love you all. Bye-bye.